So why are sunsets red? Well, it has to do with two things, how far that sunlight has to travel and how much stuff is in our atmosphere, how much dust and particles are lingering uh, in the atmosphere that are breaking up that wavelength of light. Now, if we look at noon, the sun is traveling a little bit shorter of a distance to get to our eyes. At sunset and sunrise, the sun is much farther away, and so that sunlight has to travel through a large amount of atmosphere. Now, remember that light is made up of wavelengths, and the different colors of light are actually different sizes of wavelengths. The reds are a longer wavelength, the blue is is the shortest. Now, as this light is traveling to our eyes, the blues, the yellows, they're shorter wavelengths. They're more likely to be scattered by air, by dust particles, by pollution that's in the atmosphere. So as the distance increases, as we get towards sunset, as we move away from noon, it's more likely that those blues and yellows, those violets will be uh, scattered out, they'll be filtered out, and much of the light left is red and orange. It's cool, right? It has to do with science. We've been sharing amazing sunset photos throughout the program, but I've got my very favorite ones to share with you now. Chris is going to kick this all off. Chris Ratzlaff sent in this one. It is a Chinook sunset. There we go. Isn't that fabulous? We've got about 10 photos to share with you. These ones are spectacular. These are mammatus clouds. Uh, you can see there's a, a the severe thunderstorm there. That one had baseball-sized hail. Oh, Beth sent in this picture. Isn't that spectacular? Oh my gosh. Are these for real? These are. Uh, this one is the University of Toronto, that building you saw just splash in there. Isn't that cool? I'm it blown has away. to do with the amount of stuff in the atmosphere. That's part of why when we have like a really uh, hazy mm -hmm. sky because of fires burning or pollution, that the sunsets are spectacular because it's filtering out yeah. all of the shorter wavelengths, all the blues and the yellows. We're left with these brilliant reds. So yes, mm -hmm. it can mean perhaps that there's active weather moving through, mm -hmm. but it also just has to do with the spectrum of light. I am Very fascinated cool. with like, how do they know? How do they know, know reds are longer than blues and yellows? Like Science. that, I know. <laughs> I know, I turned, I turned to Anne-Marie because she said, while well, you were doing your piece, and I go, science man. <laughs> it's true. That's why you're in that business. Ah, I love it. I love Pretty that, cool. and I love this segment, Kels. Thanks so much. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.